is a new weapon in the fight against COVID-19. The California Notify app launches this Thursday. Yeah, the governor talked about this, and this morning, Chief Information Officer for UC San Diego Health, Dr. Christopher Longhurst, is joining us live to share how this new app works. Good morning to you, doctor. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So we heard, you know, a lot of UC schools, including UC San Diego, testing this out, yeah. uh, you know, since September. And it's fairly easy to download. Eric and I both got yep. our phones out. We saw where to go. And just walk us through, yeah. walk our viewers through this. Absolutely. Thanks for downloading it, too. So the more people use this app, the safer that we're all going to be. It helps us slow the spread of COVID by letting you know if you've been exposed nearby somebody who tested positive and therefore should potentially quarantine and get tested yourself. So how do we know that our information is going to be safe here? Um, I know that's a big concern a lot of people have. People have been weighing in on our social media pages. Um, you know, how can the state ensure that uh, our information won't be uh, misused? Absolutely. That was one of our first questions when we began piloting it at UC San Diego 11 weeks ago. And we really dissected this app. And uh, based on our analysis, we trust that no identifiable information ever leaves your smartphone. So it doesn't track uh, your location at all. It only uses Bluetooth to track proximity to other devices, and it only exchanges anonymous keys. So we think it's very privacy preserving. In fact, we couldn't even tell you who was using it at UC San Diego or exactly how many people were using it. Hmm. So if you come into contact with someone who has COVID, whose phone is near them, that's basically when you'll be notified if they also have the app? Yeah, that's right. And remember, Governor Newsom uh, really stressed this is opt-in and voluntary technology, but the more people who use it, the more effective it's going to be. So at UC San Diego, we had over 50 percent of our employees and students using it, and we triggered over 50 anonymous notifications. So we found it helpful as part of our overall return to learn plan and keeping the campus safer. So how close does someone have to be here? So, for example, if you're outside of a restaurant and you're picking up your to-go order and you're just walking by someone, mm -hmm. And yeah. I mean, I, like, what is the, how long do you need to be by someone? How close to someone? I mean, what are, what are some of the proximities here? Absolutely. Well, that's a common misperception that just, you know, walking past somebody on the sidewalk, it's going to pick up the signal. And that's not actually the case. You need to be within fit, six feet of somebody for greater than 15 minutes. Okay. So it uses the CDC criteria. It's cumulative 15 minutes. So if you spend five minutes with somebody, you know, three days in a row, that will also count. So this really works well in situations like the bus or the plane or the restaurant or the bar or the college party. It, it augments the manual contact tracing. Gotcha. So it's not going through your phone book, notifying, texting everyone on your list. It's constant at all. exposure within proximity for a length of time. That's exactly gotcha. right. And if you get an exposure, you're the only one who knows that. And uh, it gives you guidelines, but you choose what you do next. Okay. Look, my kids hijack my phone all the time and they like the Bluetooth function for whatever, you know, music they're playing and, and everything. If that it should be turned off, even though I've, I've downloaded the app, is this still going to work or do you have to have the Bluetooth on the whole time? Bluetooth has to stay on, but it uses Bluetooth low energy. And so we found in our testing that it has very minimal impact on the, uh, the phone's battery life. Okay. And then also curious, you know, we were just talking about this too. If you get a notification, what should you do with that information? Do you need to tell your boss, you know, tell the teachers at school perhaps? I mean, what, what's the next step? Yeah. Well, remember the notification is just that you've been exposed. So there's no need to tell anybody about that. It'll give you uh, clear guidance on next steps. Um, of course, we recommend testing five days after exposure, et cetera. Um, but it's really up to you. And, and even if you're diagnosed with COVID, you don't have to tell your supervisor at work, um, but public health will contact you if you're diagnosed. We see the QR code that's, uh, that's by you there. Um, is that just uh, something that's easier for people to download? I mean, it's pretty easy, pretty simple stuff. Yeah, it's really easy. Uh, the QR code there just takes you to the canotify.ca.gov website. And there's instructions on that website for uh, users beginning on Thursday. If you have an iPhone, you just turn it on in settings. If you have an Android phone, there's an app you can download uh, starting Thursday from the Google Play Store. So we really want as many people as possible to turn this on. It's another uh, tool to help us you know, slow the surge and uh, uh, keep us all safer. I do have a quick question if we could ask you, doctor. I know the governor during his update yesterday kept saying this is not contact tracing. Why was that so important to get that message out? I think it's really important to understand that this augments contact tracing, right? Contact tracing works great for family, friends, people you remember eating with, et cetera. Exposure notification works well for strangers and people that you might not otherwise know to contact. And so they work together synergistically. And so it doesn't replace the need to have our contact tracers at the county. 
Gotcha. Dr. Longhurst, thanks so much for your time this morning and walking us through this app. Absolutely. Thank you for having really me. And again, that. really encourage all your viewers to download this app starting Thursday. Sounds good.